Are you thinking about taking a train from Rome to Florence or vice versa, but you don't know how? Well, stick around because today we're going to tell you all you need to know about taking a train on this popular train route. Stay tuned! Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we will tell you all you need to know about taking a train from Rome to Florence, or from Florence to Rome. It's essentially the same thing, and we'll use this route interchangeably. But first, if you like travel-related videos like this one, now is the perfect time to hit the subscribe button down below, so you never miss any future videos. Or us. Or us. Yes, of course. So let's begin. Why the train? You might ask yourself, why should I take the train between Rome and Florence? Wouldn't it be better to drive? There are a few reasons why the train is a much better solution than driving. First of all, the train between Florence and Rome is faster. In fact, driving from downtown Rome to for downtown Florence will take you about 3 hours and 20 minutes or even more, depending on traffic, while the train only takes an hour and 30 minutes. Also, using the train, you will avoid traffic. The third reason is parking. In both cities, Rome and Florence, parking is not easy, and most of the time it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. By taking the train, you will avoid the parking problem altogether. Lastly, the train is an excellent solution because of where the train stations are located. Right, so where are the train stations located? I mean, we get this question a lot, right? Okay, so in Rome, um, most of the trains that go to Florence start from the Termini Station. Termini Station is located in Rome's city centre, and it's really well connected by public transit to everywhere in the city of Rome. Now, some trains to Florence also depart from Roma Tiburtina Station, but this station is not as easy to reach if you're staying in Rome's city centre. If your plane also lands in Rome Fiumicino and you want to go there or you want to go to Florence from Fiumicino, you'll find that there's no direct trains, so what you'll need to do is change trains at Termini Station. By the way, here is an excellent video about getting back and forth between Rome and Fiumicino Airport. Now, in Florence, most trains coming from Rome, and of course going to Rome, arrive at the Santa Maria Novella train station. You'll find the Santa Maria Novella train station right in the city centre. In fact, from Santa Maria Novella, it's less than a 10 minute walk to the Duomo, or any other major attraction in Florence. In front of the train station in Florence, you'll find one of the city's main taxi hubs. Also, from the Santa Maria Novella train station, you can take a shuttle tram to the Firenze International Airport, or the Florence International Airport. Let's about talk about the different train options. Mm -hmm. The first thing you want to consider if you are taking a train from Rome to Florence is what kind of train you want to use. Well, there are two main kind of trains on, the popular, on this popular route. One is the high-speed trains, and the other one is a regular speed train. Yeah, or the slow train. Or the slow train. The high-speed train, it goes from Rome to Florence, or from Florence to Rome, in a little over an hour and a half. The fastest train between Florence and Rome at the time of this recording is one hour and 32 minutes. Non-stop. Non-stop. While the regular train takes nearly four hours, thanks to the multiple or the enormous amount of stops on the line. Mm. On high-speed trains, seats are assigned, and you can select your seat at the time of booking. On the regular speed trains, sometimes you have a seat assigned, for example, on the intercity trains. Or you do. You do, yeah. but you do not have this option on regional trains. In our, opi in our opinion, the high-speed trains are, is the best way to go, because you get there in no time and on a great, comfortable train. If you're traveling on a budget, be sure to book the trains as early as possible, at least 90 days in advance, but yep. more on that later. Yep. Now, you might be wondering about how often the trains run, so the frequency. If you choose to use a high-speed train between Rome and Florence, well, these are going to run about every 25 minutes or so. On the other hand, the regular trains are way less frequent, and there's only a handful of trains a day. Let's talk about train companies. 
If you're planning on taking high-speed trains, you have two train companies to choose from, Trenitalia and Italo Treno. Italo has only one type of high-speed trains, but Trenitalia has multiple trains. For example, with Trenitalia, you can take the following high-speed bullet trains, Freccia Rossa, Freccia Rossa 1000, and Freccia Argento. But as a passenger, the difference is like yeah, the almost the same. The regular speed trains include Regionale Veloce and Intercity, which we do not recommend as they will take forever between Rome and Florence. Well, there is one exception. There's we'll, one exception. Yeah, we'll get to that. Whether you choose Italo or Trenitalia, as long as you are taking high speed trains, you'll find both are excellent and you'll be very happy with either option that you choose. We strongly recommend you checking um, each of them when you book your ticket to see which one has a better price at, for the specific day you want to travel and which one goes faster because yep. sometimes one is a little faster than the other. Yeah, definitely. We leave both company website in the description below so you can check them out. We also left a link in the description below to buy tickets. Uh, you do not need to tra use a travel agent for that. That's right. Also, we strongly recommend you buy your ticket in advance, as I said before, to get the best possible price. If you buy your ticket at the train station, you can do it from the automated kiosk, but we do not recommend this option because these are not the easiest machine on the planet. Yeah, they oh, half the time they don't even work. In this case, if you're at the train station, we recommend you to see an agent at the ticket office and they're usually more than happy to help you buying the ticket. Yeah. If you're not using the high-speed train, your choice is limited to Train Italian. That is the only train company that does the regular train between Rome and Florence, or vice versa, of course. We also left a link in the description below to buy tickets for the, re uh, this, the regional trains or intercity trains. Remember that if you want to buy the regional train ticket, you cannot pick your seat in advance, mm -hmm. while you can do that on the intercity. Right, so now let's discuss the level of service. On high-speed trains, you have several levels of service. So let's start with Train Italia. Sure. Great. So um, you have standard class that gives you uh, regular fabric seats, free Wi-Fi, and electrical plugs. So you can charge your iPhones. Exactly. You have premium, which allows the seats to recline, and they're leather seats, and you get a snack and a beverage included. And of course, you also have free internet and electrical plugs. You have business, which has wider chairs, of course, a snack, beverage, and again, free Wi-Fi and electrical plugs. And the business area Silenzio, which is the same as business, only in a quieter area of the train. You also have business Salutino, which is the same as the business, but in this one you have four chairs in a private area, so you can travel privately if you're a group of four or if you're a family. Next, you have Executive, which has extra wide chairs with more than a meter and a half between the chairs. And of course, you know, your snack and beverage service, free internet and electrical plugs. Now, on Italo Treno, it's a little, it's a bit different, but it's practically the same thing. So first, you have Smart, which allows reclining leather seats, footrests, coffee tables, and individual electrical outlets, and of course, free Wi-Fi. You have Prima, which has wider chairs and more leg room, of course, with snack and beverage service, free Wi-Fi and electrical plugs. You also have Executive, and this class of service also allows a lounge service at the station. Also has wider chairs, food, drinks, free Wi-Fi and electrical plugs. And the Salotto, which is the same as Executive, but the chairs are also in a private area, which is great for, you know, groups of four or a family traveling together. Now, one thing to note, if you're going to do the Salotto or the Salotino, um, you know, just be aware that if you're only booking one or two tickets, the other two tickets could be sold. So it's better to book them um, you know, if you're in a group of four. That way, you're sure to be sharing the area with only the people that you're, you're traveling talking. with, right? Not some rando. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so on regular trains, you have basically two levels of service. And you have Seconda, which is very basic, and Prima, if you can, who has, you know, what they have usually bigger chairs that are offered. Now, as we mentioned before, on high-speed trains and intercities, you can reserve your seats, but on the regional trains, you cannot. So, you can sit anywhere that's available. So, how much does it cost 
between Rome and Florence by train? Mm, good question. The cost of the train between Rome and Florence varies a lot depending on the type of train, the season, the type of fare, and the level of service. That's right. In general, slow original trains can be significantly cheaper than high speed trains. Than yeah, in sometimes, general. sometimes. In general. On a regional train, you can find a ticket from Rome to Florence for as low as 22 euros. Yeah. On a speed train, the fare can vary a lot depending on availability, time of the year, level of service, type of fare, and time of the day. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you book a non-refundable, non-changeable fare, it's called Super Economy on Train Italia, it would be much cheaper than a fully refundable and changeable fare, which is called Basic Fare. Well, here's an example of fare we found on Italy train from Rome to Florence for under 10 euros, and non-stop. Also, both train company often offer promos with very advantageous fare. So, if you are thinking about booking a train from Rome to Florence or from Florence to Rome, check both train companies often. Also, it is usually cheaper if you book your tickets at least 90 days in advance, as we mentioned before. Yeah. This is very important. Now, you might be wondering, you know, if you can stop in other cities while going from Rome to Florence, or vice versa. Well, here's the thing. If you take a regional or an intercity train, you can stop in some beautiful towns and cities along the train route, such as Orvieto or Arezzo. But if you're taking a high-speed train and it happens to make a stop, you're not going to be able to get off other than the final destination. Well, okay, no, you can get off the train, but if you do, you'll have to buy another ticket to take you to your final destination. Lots of people ask, is there food on the train between Rome and Florence? On most high-speed trains, you can find a small coffee shop where you can purchase food, drinks, coffee, and snacks. On intercity trains, you can find vending machine where you can buy snacks, water, soft drinks, coffee, and other hot beverages. Hmm? On regional trains, most of the time you won't find any food or drinks, so you should buy them at, before you board the train and bring with you. Or actually, if the train stops, sometimes there's vending machines right there, but you have to go break really fast. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, and here's another one for me that is so important. Uh, it's a question I asked. Is there a bathroom on the train? And the answer is yes, there are several bathrooms for you to use. Now, normally on high speed trains and the intercity trains, there's one unisex bathroom for each coach by the entrance. Now, on the regional trains, there are fewer bathrooms, like only one every two or three coaches. Well, another question is where can I store my bags? Mm. If you're traveling on high speed trains, you have several options to store your bags. The first option is if your bag is a carry-on. You can put it above your seat, just like a plane. Another option for larger bags is to put them in the back of the seat in between seats. Mm -hmm. The last option for larger bags is to put them on the bag designated area in the entrance of the coach. By the way, if you want to know to see more or where to store your bags on Italian ice pictures, check oh, out yeah. the video. This one's a cool I, I, that was a lot of fun doing that video. If you are taking an intercity train, you have more or less the same options to store your bags. On regional trains, on the other hand, you can store small carry-on on top of your seat, but anything larger than that, you will need to store in designated area by the coach entrance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the end, uh, taking a train between Rome and Florence, or Florence and Rome, is the best option to travel between these two incredible Italian cities. Using the train, you'll have the convenience of going safely and quickly from downtown Rome to downtown Florence. You won't have to worry about renting a car, dealing with traffic, or finding parking in Rome or Florence. The only thing you need to think about is where you're going to eat next, or what. Exactly. The high-speed train is definitely the fastest and most comfortable train, but if you plan on visiting other smaller places between Rome and Florence, well, I suggest you to take a regular speed train. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something how to use the train between Rome and Florence or Florence to Rome. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to us. Also, if you have any question, leave a comment below. We love to hear from you and answer your question as much as we can. So true. In the meantime, see you on our next video. Ciao. Ciao.